So now we're heading to the China Hall in Rotherhive. We're getting a lift, the only way to get a lift from Darren in a black cab. Uh, this is compliments because he, he loves Dan and our work so much. But we're going to have a look at a pub which has broken the hearts of the people of Rotherhithe because they went out of their way to save it, like a few other pubs nearby, but unfortunately lost the battle. China Hall was an important place and there's a particular developer who has been targeting pubs, dare I say targeting pubs, and the China Hall was one of his... What he, what he does is, is he buys a property and we'll speak more about him and the pub when we get there. He buys the properties and puts the rates up so high that it's inevitable that you're going to go out of business. And when you finally go out of business, he will then turn your pub into residential you know, accommodation. And if Dan just veers ever so slightly, you'll see it coming up. It's got its own sad story, as does the, uh, the landlords that were, were there. They, um, they were displaced. So a man named Asif Aziz seems to have made it his business to buy up pubs. By 2015, he owned up to 150 pubs by the companies that he was dealing with. Now, by the 2000s, he was making threats that anyone behind on their rent, even a day late, would be made to suffer for it and would be turfed out. As a result, we get properties like this. Now, if I was to be suspicious or accusatory, I would think that he is deliberately targeting our pubs as a means to get rid of them. But obviously that would be out of order. That would be unkind of me to say. What I can say is, that the, the landlords who were here previously were here for quite a long time and they had to plead for an extension on the lease just to not get kicked out during Christmas. And what a merry Christmas that must have been. Now, as you can see, it's being made residential. There was talk of this downstairs being made into a, some sort of bar, but we're not sure. What we are sure of is that it is a shadow of its former self. And me personally, I am disgusted by the new characteristics that they're sticking on and going to stick on. And just to the side here that you can't see is this old sign sitting there looking very sorry for itself. Big respect to all the Rotherhive citizens who went out of their way to save this pub. It's the same man who tried to get rid of the old justice, but luckily the efforts of the Rotherhive citizens saved the old justice. But unfortunately, we can't save them all.